All right, we just got back from trash picking. We found a whole bunch of scrap, a lot of scrap. We got a couple really cool items, and then we found, I wanna show you guys this, one killer item, which was worth the whole trip in itself. Check this out. I won't lie in this world, man, you need school. What you saw is what you reap. The price of even making it, you know it's not cheap. Never mind the lights, you can sacrifice sleep. Put your best out there, see results in a week. Preach. I don't think they know. All right. Another beautiful day in paradise. Look at this. Woo! Hi. Hi. Good morning. Coffee before claims. All right, what's up everyone? Good morning. So today we are going to cruise the neighborhood. It's pretty early in the morning, it's like 7 a.m. And we're thinking that spring cleaning has not been canceled like we thought before, so. No, because we were cruising around yesterday and like there's some good stuff in the trash. We got a whole bunch of stuff without trying yesterday. Actually, you guys can check that out if you want right now. All right, so what is up everyone? So pretty nice day out today. So yesterday, went over to my brother's house to pick up a broken Nintendo that we sold on eBay, because he was trying to get it to work and use it. But he said that his neighbor had given him this grill and he didn't want it. So I put it up on Marketplace and it has gotten so much traction in the last 12 hours, probably like 12, 10 to 12 messages about people that wanted to buy it and it's not even in good shape. So if you can get grills for free or out of the trash or from people that are giving them away, now's a good time of year to grab them up because people are buying grills. So I'm about to sell this grill for 40 bucks. It was probably really expensive when they bought it, but it's not in good shape now. But 40 bucks is 40 bucks, can't deny that. Even like you can tell it's not in great shape, but you know, it is what it is. This goes to somewhere. Not really sure where. And that goes right there. So not bad. Not bad, not bad. And this goes up. No, oh, that's probably the clip to hold this up. And then the propane tank obviously goes down here, right here. So, grill season, everyone. All right, looks like we might have found a little pot of gold on the side of the road here. Let's see. This is in the trash can. Yeah, I'm gonna ask her, she's right here. Roll down the window. Is that trash? Yeah. Can I take those? Yeah. Okay. 
Because we don't have any gloves. Alright. Alright, look at all these beach chairs. One, two. Three, four. These are cool styles, but the lining's like so old it's eating apart. You can see. But these are these are the vintage style. This one's kind of cool though. It's got wood panels on it. Whole collection of beach chairs here. What's this thing too? Metal. Is it? No. Don't know. Mm -mm. No, what is that thing's really weird? It's, it's like a, a filter. filter. It's like a pool filter. This house though? I love this house. I don't know why, but there's always Should we go check out that wood? Yeah. It's wet, but that doesn't mean that it's not good. Was it looking like old old or like old? but still usable. Yeah. Those beach chairs though, were the coolest style, but they're just obviously too round to use. For real. What? Is that white thing cool? Yeah. Should I grab those things? Yeah. Do you have gloves? They're like not work gloves, but you I can, can use just these and I'll use out. those. Okay. Right. Is that cool? Oh no, are those your only gloves? No, those are yours. What gloves are you just wearing? Those, but those are your gloves. I have other ones in the back. Alright, check this out. This is like a kegerator. Okay, so we're about to trash pick, I guess, now. Wasn't really planning on it. But uh these gloves are a little bit nasty, but I'll rock them. Well, you might have to rinse it off. Either way, it's good for scrap. If, even if, oh, the white thing right there. Is the door broken? No. Is that like a cell light piece? That's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, I'm about it. I would get it. Can you see onto the camera that it's recording? It's recording. Is it pointed enough? In the right direction? I think it's good. Huh? Yeah, don't touch on it. My bad. You asked me to touch it. All right, let me put this in. Oh, this is super light too. I'm thinking that's pretty cool. This would be a nice kegerator though, dude. Cause like these, these little pieces here, I don't know, might actually be sellable on the low left. Like even this is kind of cool, right? True. And like these are probably expensive to buy new. Obviously the, the pieces where the beer would go through are, are moldy, but that top and those might be sellable. This is cool though. If I just put this in and push it, you think it'll just push it all I'll back? Put these on top of that and put it right here. All right. Right. We're just. gonna eventually need to take this top off of here if we keep getting crazy right. I think if we just lean it up on here that's and then get it from the bottom yeah that's nice the door I'll get that or you can grab it and even this is a sellable piece but also just scrap you know? And then this? 
go in the bed, right? Yeah. Or on top. Yeah, right here is fine. Yeah. That's a nice little dreamer. See, I didn't even see that. I thought you were talking about this. Yeah. Cleaned them up without even trying. Yeah. Wood this line. is the same street where, remember all those yard sales were going on? One of the streets that we hit it hard, yeah. Isn't this where we bought that, the cat bed thing? Yeah, the one we still have. But they don't go in at all. They go in there to grab their toys sometimes. It's not on this street. No, it's not. I don't think so. Uh, what street was it? This one this way? I guess. If it wasn't. I don't even know how we got to this street. This one. Potentially, maybe. No. No? Is it? I don't know. No. It's this one. It might be trash wood. It might be trash wood too, my bad. That's, so all, that's all good though. We'll check it out real quick. And then this is where they were having that yard sale, right? And they had like those rugs. Yeah. I mean that two by four. Mm. No, it's creepy. It's, yeah. It's all like from their fence. Yeah, it's done. This little section here. They got like a weird little. I'll take a gander at this a little deeper. Looks like this. This is a cool pot. Might have to take that. It's got that Native American-esque, kind of like New Mexico type feel. And then the base of it. And then little Miller Lite surfboard thing. It's kind of nice. These things are jacked up. It's got water damage. This though. It's like a picture frame kind of thing. Probably just scrap honestly. Scrap. And these I actually sold a set of but these are not new like the ones I sold. What's this thing? Gigantic apple. Little wooden golfer. It's kind of cool. Now I was thinking the same thing. How about this? Nobody would buy a giant apple? No, nah, right? It's kind of a piece of art though, I have to admit. Okay, we were out for a very short amount of time and we found a bunch of good stuff already um, so I'm gonna transfer basically I'm gonna back all the way up to here and put all the scrap in here fill that up and then take the other boxes out that don't need to be in here and then anything that might be sellable put in the shed or take pictures of but let me just grab my gloves and I'll show you guys what we got 
All right, check this out. Homemade custom one-of-a-kind mask from our friend Peggy Pippi. Thank you so much. So here we got a giant apple. I'm just gonna put this stuff here for a second. It's solid wood. It's heavy. Little metal top on it. We got this Miller thing. It's kind of dusty, but it's kind of funny because it actually goes with this, but it came from a different house. This it's pretty cool. Probably gonna be scrap. And then just put it there for now. And as I said before, well actually hold on. I'm gonna take these and put them over here for a second. And then the fridge that the mini fridge itself definitely cooked. Oh, well this thing might be it's pretty cool. Thinking this is a, definitely a sellable piece. Look at this. I'd say 20 bucks for that. 15, 20 bucks for that. On oh, marketplace. And then let me see how to get this stuff. I might just back up a little bit more. And I'm gonna cut this off of here. And then get these components out of here because I do think that these are, are sellable. I do think these are sellable for sure. The metal pieces, not the not the not the hoses. But okay. Today is another day to find some claims in the trash. And yeah, we're gonna go do it. We really don't have the best setup for scrapping or trash picking because we have the top on the back of the truck but uh we can still fit a good amount of stuff and basically all the areas where we trash pick are so close to the house we can go out get stuff bring it back put it in the trailer and then go out again if we wanted to so let's go see before the trash trucks take everything Whew. all right so probably go just like down this street over here that has the trash day and then scoop down towards like the bay towards like concrete rob's area yeah but if we go around and then these streets on that side of our part of it too isn't that weird what are you gonna find today so we're going wood claims today Pop Pop's catty over it's all the cat's catty out. It's just Pop Pop like needs it the most, I feel like. I'm claiming. He wants to go outside the most. Oh, that's not good. Good Alright, I'm claiming for my checklist today. Bicycle. These are things I would like to find. Skateboard. Surfboard. <laughs> what? what Those are good ones. What do you need? We'll see. Like huh? <laughs> Any of those. They don't have to be like high quality. They can just be. That's their that's their cat. Who's cat? Unless that cat's just chilling on their porch. Who's cat? What cat? We got uh, my phone. The mommy cat. There's yeah, I mean dude, that mommy cat just chills at our house too. No no, but I'm saying he's on their stoop. Like waiting for snacks. Alright. What if they like? What if he goes in their house? Probably does. But then I could tell the older lady like, "Mommy cat's okay." Like, she should we go back? I don't know. What do you think? No. I don't think we Anybody need a mattress? Okay, mattress and a thing that goes above your bed. Is that what that is? Or like a hutch? Definitely not a mattress claim for me today. So should I grab this chair? Yeah, right? Is it metal? Yeah. Yeah. 
All right, little wee bit of scrap to start off the morning. This is actually a usable chair. And that's a fan. I'm about to get that too. This guy here is like uh, not looking too good. But maybe I can just put the fan blades off to the side here. And then just take this. It's got a motor and some aluminum and a little bit of wire. Some early morning scores. Not gonna say. Not gonna. Not gonna say. The first street we went down. Two pieces already. Let's keep it going. All right. I'm spotting something that says Fisher Price. I don't know. It's a duffel bag, I think. But if it was filled with Fisher Price vintage, it would be worth it. So we're just gonna check it out real quick. All right, so we got a situation here where it's pretty gross. Actually, this is metal. Keyboards, but we have about 2,000 of those already. Brand new. This is what I was looking at though, really. What's, what, oh, it's a crib. Is that what that is? I was thinking crazy. Yeah, it's a Fisher Price crib, which actually all these metal pieces. Could be just a scrap though. The bag's not bad. Bag's kind of cool. It's moldy though. And look at how rusty it actually is. I mean, this has probably been in the person who uses this crib is probably like 30. Think about that. Okay, coming up on our right, we have a situation that. I would call a no pick situation. What were you calling it? A stay stay. This can stay stay. This can just stay stay, Sammy claims. But look at this. That's how you get bed bugs. Oh, we've done clean outs that look like that before though. So I can't even really get too crazy. Look at this though. Couple something, some scooters maybe couple electric scooters in the trash. All right, these I tried to sell before, like for parts. No one ever buys them, so these are just scrap ones. They have a lot of weight though to them, which is kind of strange. They are super heavy. But you would think someone would try and buy them to fix them, but I guess it's probably easier, cheaper to just buy a new one. Uh, I'm assuming, because I literally had one of these in roof. Electric scooters are worse. Like, I'd I know. Ride one if I had one. How bad do you want that? This is how good my eyes are, guys. Do you see that cat? There's a black cat in the There's window. Right there. Dude, get it. no. It's an ooh -oo. Yes. <laughs> That's a sign of good luck it for is. me. For sure. All right, so this is what we were, I guess, out here for this big doggy scrap so we're just gonna get it so about to fill the truck that's why what I was saying before this is not a good situation for scrapping to be honest that we could you know they're not taking this we could just finish the trash day and come back with the trailer put them in that's true because then they're in there and if they're gone that would that would not be cool but it is what it is because there's probably other cool stuff out and once we get those we're just going to be maxed out but if we put them in the trailer direct that's what we'll do i guess nothing nothing these are good streets though right around here i found we found some some decent stuff on these blocks 
this is like a whole neighborhood in itself, kind of like a square that also has the trash day today. All right, this is something that I think it's rusty, but it's probably sellable this time of year. This, not so much. Oh, it's all one solid piece too. So, I mean, it's nothing special, but I know people look for fire pits, 20 bucks. I'm thinking for sure. So not bad, that's a score. They're throwing out an old trunk over there, but we know firsthand those are not easy to sell. I think, didn't my mom bring that one trunk to the flea market? And then it didn't sell. And we tried to sell one on Facebook for a long time and no one bought it even for like 15 bucks. Lamp. Not great, but might as well grab it. All right, I spied the shape of this basket I thought was cool. Actually, I spied, like, what is this? That's not bad, that's pretty cool. Take that. But we don't, do we, do we want this, actually? nicer than the one we got. Well, that's for food bowls, yeah. They probably don't have a cat anymore. I mean, all that water rinsed it off nicely. You could sell that, that cat carrier even if we don't use it anyway. Because people are always looking for that and those things are super expensive now. This is pretty cool, though. I don't know. What is the significance of this? It's kind of like China. I don't it's know. not really a nice one, but if anyone knows why it's shaped like that, please inform us because we don't know. It is pretty cool, but I might, I yeah, might I'm just. I'm like trying to think of why it was shaped like that, but I don't know. What's it nice out? It's nice out, yeah. I know I don't need a long sleeve, but I like wearing one just in case scrapey stuff rubs on me, on my hand. But we made a pit stop back at home. I unloaded all the stuff basically, and we're going to go try a more wealthy neighborhood over on the island, which is about four miles, five miles away, and go check that out, see if there's anything, because even with the quarantine and everything going on, Tons of people came down to their their houses here in New Jersey for the weekend last weekend. Today's Monday, and we're assuming they did some spring cleaning, getting ready for summer. So, if we're gonna find something of great value or of more value, it's gonna be probably in this town because this is the rich rich. What's your big score today that you, that you want to find? Big score. Just a nice pieces of wood for the cat, yeah. All right, all right. Pieces of wood, not or bad. Or something cool, I like to be surprised. So. It's so hard to pick stuff, but I was thinking about doing, Fun. if we did a list. I'm thinking like a nice beach chair, cause I don't have, like, I've never bought a beach chair ever. I actually found one yesterday that would be usable, but it doesn't lean back. 
I'm talking about like a nice one, not just one that's usable. Cause like usable for me. Usable, like we could definitely find that. But I'm talking about like a comfy one. Like, like a nice, nice. One. nice. It's like a big a folding nice one. Picture. Like that so. one we should have kept. That was all folding out. No, the Which thing one? is, we'll get one. We'll get oh, the one. The one that was in that store jogger. Yeah. That thing was falling apart though, but that was a nice one. That was like a really long one. It didn't stop you from laying in it. No, I was just in it to win it at that point. In it, in the game. Like, I was already dusty, so who cares? Oh yeah, this is where it's at right here. No joke, that thing's epic. <laughs> just waiting for the whole thing to collapse. <laughs> what is this? What is, uh, it's a vacuum, damn. What did you think it was? For some reason, I thought it was a drill press. The way it looked. And the sun was hitting my eyes and I was getting all crazy. You got blinded by the light, huh? <laughs> Literally. Alright, so we're gonna make this <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna make this quick trek over to the next town and then see what we can find. Claims these are legit glasses. So I put them on. <laughs> I put these on because I was blinded by the light. <laughs> I don't know the rest. Da, 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 da. Uh, I don't either. I don't know anything about this, but these are too. nice. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, right? Those are the real deal glasses. Yeah. <laughs> I just like to have them. I like to have them. I see the detail in them. Gotta see the detail. Is it bad? It's just like that one little piece. It's is it rotting? Yeah. It's kind of nice though. It is. If it's rotting, it's done though. Okay. Then it's probably done. Should we take it a look at it? We can take a peek. I mean, we the road here and now we're good. We're good. No one's gonna think. What's uh yeah. Cause look, Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it must have been. It's just a couple pieces, but I mean, to rehab that would be way not worth your time. It is nice though. All right, what is it? We don't even know. Let me get my gloves out. It's from the base of like a. A water bird feeder thing. It's cool though, right? Pretty good score. All right, so these things, really cool, but no. Look at this puzzle though. From like, I don't know what year but it's old. This thing? No. This thing? Yes. This is a boat marine seat. That goes with it. That goes with it, but it's cooked. I think that's a sellable piece. And if not, it is aluminum, mostly. So. All right, we got some creeper stuff. Some gravies. Okay, aka some good stuff. <laughs> I think 
Wow, this is really cool, actually. What? Super cool. Did you even see that before? I wasn't looking at that. For some reason, I thought it was like a part of the... Look at that. Picture frame. I don't know why I thought that. I guess because of the way they put it there. It's chip, but... Those but are definitely solid. Like the these are cool, though. That's a lucky girl claim. These are like, you know, $10 each guy. If not, maybe more, though, dude. I don't know what that is. I think I'll put them in, in the inside. Not saying they're old, but they're definitely they're a cool. They're definitely cool. Somebody handmade a lot. And things. that is like a very specialized thing. These guys, a doubler? I mean, this was 50 bucks. And this was 70. Somebody paid $70 for this thing. <laughs> Both for 20 though on Marketplace. We can get it. For sure, not really my style, but they're cool. All right, I'm at my brother's house now. He lives right near where we were at anyway, but I had to drop something off to him and he's got a table, he said. You want this? Yeah, we'll take it. And then there's chairs behind you if you want. Are they done? I mean, depends on your standards. My standards are? My standards are I don't want four beach chairs. Mine are that uh, anything metal goes. Can we give him a chair? You don't. Chair? You're gonna use these, though. No, I just. Oh, well, I just emailed Ben my my wish list for my backyard room, so we're gonna be getting that. <laughs> I said instead of getting an anniversary present, I I want. You could turn this into a paradise yeah, back here. Yeah, it's gonna be so nice. Why do I see it like there's tiki lights? Yeah, I I have all this stuff. I like went on Wayfair this morning and did. Like, Wait, do you have a jacuzzi in there still? Yes. No, it's no, 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 it's right here. It's oh, all, it's all, so it's he's true. like, I'm going to put it back, but like, my whole thing is, first off, it didn't work. It only got to like 98. Oh, so it didn't get... No, and it's supposed to get... To the What's the clip? This is what I wanted to do. <laughs> this isn't a clip? Yeah, it is. How? <laughs> no, he didn't do that. That was pretty good, actually, dude. I'll give it to you. Now I need what? Yeah, just put it in like that. That's nice, thanks. Perfect. That other chair, we can fit it if you want it. Get rid of it. All right, so beach chair is done. And then they have one more chair they want to give us. Scrap life. <laughs> it's hard stuff. Look at this. Gaff. <laughs> Too many people. But dude, they just found a gaff in the trash. Which isn't that exciting, but it's kind of a cool thing to find. <laughs> there was chairs there too, but might have to bail on them. Lamp in the trash. Gonna grab that, and if anything else, maybe. Chairs, Jeez. we can fit them. Throw them in. So this is the... These are the chairs that I would like if they weren't across So here, look. This is the gaff I was talking about. It's actually really nice. I mean, the, the staff it's on is a little creepy, but look at that. The hook man. All right. So these are the nice chairs, but they're a little bit ruined. That one. And then number two. And that's it, I think. Yep. Creepy looking thing. It's like a hanging fan that hangs like six feet. Probably for a spiral stair set. Does that make sense? I don't know what it's for. It's not a surfboard, but it's a surfboard travel bag, and it 
Probably, it's pretty easy to sell. It looks good, good to go. I could definitely bring my surfboards anywhere and they wouldn't get dinged in it. Yep, this thing's nice. So this is for an airplane. I mean, dude, it has a little bit of wear and tear, but these things are super expensive. This is a score. This is the biggest score of the day How of the week. They would cost brand new. At least 300, I would say, for this company brand. I don't know. You could probably get them on Amazon, unbranded. But I, I, yeah, these are a lot of money. I could probably just put in like the same bag a picture of it and show you guys right now how much it would be. Like I could be mistaken. All right, so just now in that last little score, we found something not only valuable to buy, but also very high likely chance that I could use it to protect my surfboards during travel to anywhere in the car, in a plane. I mean, I don't have a good travel board bag like that. There's a, there's a day bag, which is like a thin bag that you would put your board in, almost like a sock, like a book sock type of bag. And you would just throw it in the car, you know, take it wherever. And then there's a travel bag, which is that one, which is much thicker. It you can fit it for like a longer, a longer trip. Yeah, and you could fit like three boards in there, short boards in there, if they're small enough. And it has padding that goes in between. And then the airline just throws it like 16 feet and it goes ping and breaks all the noses off all the boards. <laughs> Basically happens like one out of three times that I've seen. That's why you just take them off first usually. Or some of them you can't. I just wouldn't even really be trying to ship. Like, I know Ben sur like brings surfboards places all the time, but like, dude, that's so expensive to do. Okay, so now we I'm about to back up, try and hook up the trailer, and then we are going to go get the, it's I think two dryers and a washer, or two washers and a dryer. There's three appliances at this house that we passed earlier that we held off on because we wanted to see if we could find some other stuff before we got the trailer and brought it back. And they would have taken up the whole bed of the truck. So we're, I'm actually happy we did that because we got the surf bag and that was the biggest score for sure of the day. So I'm gonna hook the trailer up and then we're gonna go. Putting on my back brace for this one. Cause these are gonna be heavy. I already know. Yeah, to the cat so they look at her. Were you torturing my kids? No, Buggy was licking his paws and I was like, hi, Crow Mug, trying to get his attention. I can see and him he from here. And he looked at me and he was like, what's up, Mom? That's right. That's he how did. you he gotta do it. <laughs> All right, let's do this. <laughs> Went a little too close almost. This might be filled with water, this one. And this one will be much lighter. <clears throat> and then the last guy, which is also probably gonna be lighter. Nah, because it's a dryer. It's still so heavy though, who am I kidding? Crack open this bad boy in the back and find some diamond earrings. Or a wedding <laughs> ring. Or like pennies. Woo. It's probably work still though. Woo. 
<laughs> no joke out here lifting these things around though. Working up a sweat real quick and easy. I figured those police were about to pull us over because somebody thought we stole their scrap. I really did think that because it's happened to us before in this town. Where three police showed up just because we were getting scrap. I feel like the Pope don't know who we are by now. Oh, you could only hope. That scared me though, just for... They just know we don't do anything wrong. I mean, dude. Big mama and her cat. People, though, if, they, if somebody calls the police, they have to respond though. It's not their fault. So like someone could be like, like, those guys just stole a washer out of that yard. This guy's going for it. Going for it. Grab. All right, almost back. Gonna load up all the other scrap and then go to the yard, I guess. It's probably the best idea, right? This is okay, but I need to hone in on my backing up skills for sure. Let's just leave it here. All right, as you guys can see here, we have a nice specimen known as the crow buggy bug. Yeah, he likes to sleek around and eat snacks. Next, we have a little pop pop who sneaks outside when he's not supposed to and gives his dad a heart attack because at nighttime when he sneaks out, can hardly even see him. Well, Rue, on the other hand, can't see her at all when she gets out at night. All right, we just got back from trash picking. We found a whole bunch of scrap, a lot of scrap. We got a couple really cool items and then we found, I want to show you guys this, one killer item, which was worth the whole trip in itself. Check this out. Board bag. Total keep life right here. Creatures board bag. Dude. Stoked about this. The zipper and everything works on it fine. So this is for a surfboard or multiple surfboards for traveling. Up to seven and a half, seven feet, one inch. I mean, we could just put everything, up, just like stack it up behind the trailer, I guess, for now. All right, so I'm gonna bring all this aluminum. This is heavier than it looks. that our friend brought over yesterday, Nuge the boy, uh, into the car, into the bed of the truck. This is some nice aluminum. And then we're gonna head off to the scrapyard, cash in on this stuff, see what we make off of it. But that's going to be the dirty aluminum, clean aluminum, and then there is a little bit of copper I'm going to bring. Uh, even though I probably should just save the copper, but I don't know what to do, honestly. Alright, we're pulling into the scrapyard. It's looking uh, less, less crowded than it was last time we were here, so that's a good thing. Let's do this. Dump this load and then get on with it. Take the little bit of aluminum that we have. Woo! Making it happen. 
recycling all this scrap and turning it into new things. It's crazy they just, like, someone scrapped that truck and, like, look how nice it is. And they just use it still. Yeah. All right, we're going to dump this. Uh, it's just crazy to turn the trailer backing up, like, by the slightest amount, like a centimeter, you could just mess up your whole day. Yeah. But, all right, let's dump it. All right, all right. Yo, pull up a little bit. Like, pull up a couple feet. had to pull up a little bit. There's fine. This is really nice to have. The dump trailer that we have, we got it for the clean outs that we used to do, but for scrap too, it just changes the game. Because it makes everything of unloading so easy. That was nice. Perfect. That was a perfect dump. Good. Perfection. Cool. Okay, I don't know why I have a winter hat on because it's freaking crazy hot out. But we got back home and so we had 920 pounds of light iron and it's three dollars and fifty cents every hundred and that was thirty two dollars and twenty five cents so not that bad and then the aluminum and the dirty aluminum okay and the dirty aluminum and the aluminum were eleven dollars twenty five cents so not that much money but we did get a whole bunch of other stuff to sell that we could sell and we got that you know I keep saying it but that killer board bag that was worth the whole trip today so hope you guys enjoyed the video and this is just you know some of the items you can find in people's trash if you just drive around and there's many other things that we found sometimes good sometimes bad sometimes nothing but you never know unless you go see you guys in the next one and just stay positive, everyone. This, I know, situation is just crazy in the world right now. But it's up to you to have a positive attitude when you wake up in the morning. And everything's scary right now. And there's a lot of anxiety in the world, with my own self included. But uh, anything that you can do that can give you a bit of happiness, uh, try to do that. And just do things that keep your mind off of everything. But uh, yeah, peace, everyone. See you tomorrow.